What a nice view. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, getting old sucks. <laughs> Allow me to elaborate why I feel this way today. So today's a work at home day for me. I just came down here to the Pagoda for lunch, packed a little something to eat. Now I'm heading back to home so I can get back to work. But today is the first day in almost two weeks that I've gotten on the Goldwing for a ride. And the reason for that, it's not because of weather, it's not because the bike broke down. No, the reason is because I hurt my back. <laughs> yeah. I hurt my back so bad that I could barely walk for a few days. Well, more than a week almost. I couldn't get on the bike. I couldn't get my leg over the seat. I barely can today, but I decided to take the bike out for a spin just to see if I was healthy enough to get back on the gold wing. And get off it too. <laughs> and I didn't hurt my back doing anything fun or adventurous. You know, I wasn't doing anything crazy or wild or didn't fall, uh, climb something high or anything. No, I hurt my back opening my garage door. Yeah, that's it. I just, I bent down to grab the handle and pick the door up. Not that I haven't done a thousand times before, literally, probably more than a thousand. But for whatever reason, about two weeks ago, when I picked the door up, something on my back went twang. I felt it go when it happens. So I put the door back down, and I was lifting the door from a from a side angle, you know, from, from the side. Yeah, normally I you know face the door and pick it up and lift, lift with the legs, that kind of thing. Safe lifting practices, all that. But for this day, I had, I had something in my arm. I didn't even know what I was carrying. So I only picked it up with the one arm, the, the right arm. And I wrenched my back. Now at the time, you know, it didn't feel too bad. It wasn't until later that day where my back started feeling really bad. And then the next morning when I got out of bed and I almost fell down. <laughs> well, yeah, then I knew something was wrong. And then for a little over a week, for almost two weeks, I was practically an invalid. I mean, and I've never had a back injury before my whole life. Not like that, not like this. I mean, I've gone my whole life without having any back problems until about two weeks ago. Now, what I think I did was I wrenched, you know, I pulled a muscle in my back because I could feel it on the right side of my spine. It was swollen up a little bit. On the left side, it was it was flatter. So I think I had an aggravated muscle on the right side of the spine or inflamed muscle, or whatever. And it probably swelled up enough that it pushed or pushed on the sciatic nerve, maybe. That seems to be what happened. It fits the symptoms and such. I never has had it nerve problems at ever before until now <laughs> so for the past two weeks I've been doing stretches and cold packs on my back and all kind of therapeutic stuff that I've read about on Google and crap for the most part it's worked I mean, I'm getting better my back's much better than it was I can walk fine again I can bend down Mostly, not all the way, but most of the way. The stretches I've been doing are getting easier. So I'm improving. Still, 
the whole experience has left me with a bit of a, I don't know. It's left me pondering a few things. Like not being able to ride the bike for two weeks really, really sucked. I mean, and it was perfect weather. I mean, it was beautiful weather. It wasn't like it was rainy or stormy or anything for those two weeks. It was awesome outside. Perfect fall weather. So that kind of blew. But hurting my back like that has made me wonder a lot about, you know, as I get older, what will riding be like? I mean, I never, I never had a hurt back before, but now I have. Will I hurt my back more often from now on? <laughs> Will that be a thing that happens now and then? Will there be days where I can't go riding like that? Or weeks I can't go riding like that again in the near future? And it's got me wondering what older motorcycle riders go through. I mean, as we get older, you know, do the older riders deal with a lot of health problems that prevent them from riding? Do they have back issues? I, mean, I know uh, Bronco rides. Colin is his name. He's a motor vlogger on YouTube. I know he has back issues because I hear him talking about it all the time in the in his motor vlogs and such. And I can kind of appreciate what he goes through now a little more, having hurt my own back for a couple of weeks. But I really wonder, do older riders have lots of problems you know, actually riding? I mean, are there days where you want to ride, but you can't? Are there days where you want to ride, but you feel like you aren't able to safely? Tree trimmers. Damn. power lines like that all the power to you guys thanks for your service but man I wouldn't want to do that so yeah I don't know I'm feeling a little down I guess you know as you know it's not that I've ever felt invincible but I've never really had health problems my whole life I mean other than stupid injuries from doing stupid stuff, you know, of course, but for opening a garage door, no, <laughs> I've never had that happen to me before. That's kind of got me thinking about the future. You know, will there be a day where I can't ride a motorcycle anymore? I mean, yeah, of course, there will be a day where I can't ride anymore. I mean, it'll happen eventually. Maybe I'm getting closer than I think I am. Maybe that day is not as far away as I think it is. Now I'm being dramatic a little bit because I'm, you know, I'm young enough where I'm not, you know, close to retirement age yet. Yeah, I still have a couple decades of riding, but you know, how close am I to not be able to ride anymore? Will I get a trike when that day comes? Will I just give up motorcycles and drive everywhere? I mean, I am riding a Goldwing, so I'm already halfway there to being an old man. <laughs> yeah, I can talk about that now, but for 25 years riding Harleys, my friends and I used to always joke about, you know, Goldwings are for old people. You know. When we get closer to retirement, we'll all buy gold wings. That kind of stuff. Here I am. Lo and behold, I'm riding a gold wing. <laughs> I hurt my back so bad I can't ride for a few weeks. Maybe the gold wing was the right choice for me after all. <laughs> I don't know. I know one thing's for sure. I'm gonna be more careful from now on how I lift things because I don't want to aggravate this again. I mean, will it be a recurring back injury from now on? 
I know I have friends that have told me once they heard their back for the first time, it became a recurring thing a couple times a year. Where now they have to go for chiropractor visits and you have to be care extra careful and stuff. Is that neat from now on? Maybe. I sure hope not, but maybe it is. I know one other thing for sure. I need to start working out more, more exercise. I mean, I get exercise now, but very casual exercise. You know, I'm not a workout holic by any means. I'm not a fitness freak. I stretch now and then, I do some lifting now and then, but I may need to start focusing more on exercise. As I get older, it's probably more important, you know, more now than ever, to keep myself in good health. Or even to get in better health, maybe. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I'm feeling old today. I'm feeling older than I have for a long time. Maybe ever in my life. More tree trimmers. So, let me know down in the comments below if you ever hurt yourself so bad you can't ride your motorcycle. And how often does it happen to you? I mean, am I blowing it out of proportion? Am I being silly? Am I making a mountain out of a molehill? Or as you get older, does this actually become a thing you have to worry about? And be aware of, you know? Are there days you want to go riding but you can't because your legs hurt or your back aches or you can't walk right, whatever? That'd be me in a few years <laughs> with a walker and everything and a cane so yeah let me know in the comments below what you all think if you're the same issues how you deal with it that kind of stuff me i'm gonna go home go back to work but it does feel good to be on the bike again it still hurts to get on it it's hard to get on and off the bike but I'm better now. I'm getting better. Hopefully you're all doing better than I am. So with that said, thanks for watching everyone. Take care. Ride safe. Be careful with your health. <laughs> and see you next time.